a warning shot to some members of the ODM party over what he says are elaborate plans to avoid party primaries. Wanjigi says that should the alleged plans succeed, then the party will disintegrate. And as Elizabeth Mutuku reports, talks of political projects by the state is gaining popularity across the political divide. Talk of political projects by the state, whether real or perceived, is one issue being turned into a political agenda. One time close ally of Raila Odinga and NASA financier Jimmy Wanjigi now joining those who have in the past claimed that there is elaborate plans carefully laid out to deny Kenyans the right to vote in whichever candidate they want for the top job. People of this country are the ones who decide who is their next president. You can be favorites of some, and you can be favorites of some of those who are very unpopular, by the way. So I, my view is very clearly, I, I, I agree with the, the sentiments of, uh, I think those were the Oka sentiments. No candidate is going to impose on the people of Kenya. There are no more projects. Now come on with Kijaribu projects, you shall see what will happen to you. It will be no different to what has happened in the history of this nation. Projects are rejected. Plans, he says, will achieve nothing more than collapse the Orange Democratic Party, further claiming that some officials in the party are keen on scuttling the nomination process. Without mincing his words, Wanjigi says he is in the party to stay, further warning the youth to be careful, lest they be misused by some politicians, warning some of the officials that he will lead the wrath of Kenyans against them should the party fail to hold party primaries. If they try and decide that um, democratically, they shall face the wrath of this nation. Wakiangalia. And I'll lead that wrath. But I'm noticing that they have some very interesting trends. Those trends are undemocratic trends. We have a whole vice chair who is out there telling us categorically that uh, these nominations are going to be done in rooms and delegates and I don't know what. We don't even know how they choose those people. We don't know whether they are relatives. We don't know anything. I can tell you, if you are not democratic at the presidential, you will not be democratic right up to MCA. This party risks, risks being torn apart by anything that is viewed as undemocratic. So I warn those people. ODM has in the past threatened to take disciplinary action against its members purporting to open branch offices without consultations with the national office in what was seen as reference and a warning shot to Wanjigi. The constitution lays out the rules and regulation of all the elections, whether it is the grassroots elections for delegates at grassroots or the national. For presidential, it is very clear. Delegates choose, choose at the NDC the presidential candidate. There's no other way. 3,000 delegates choose the presidential candidates at the NDC, hopefully in Kasarani. They have no shortcut. Any shortcut is against the constitution of our party. And that shortcut will be fought and resisted by the people of this party. The party is expected to conduct its party primaries in December this year. Elizabeth Mutuko, TV 47.